Like, hey, I'm Spartan 85. Welcome to a tutorial. Oh, maybe that'll be my intro. Hey guys, what's up? Spartan 85 here. Welcome to a seven days to die tutorial. Today we're gonna be talking about the debug menu, the creative menu, uh, God mode, that kind of stuff, and also the console commands and stuff like that. So I, I've had a lot of people kind of ask me about, you know, the, the, the console commands, the debug menu, that kind of stuff. How do you do that? How do you access it? How do you make the tutorial vids and stuff like that? And you can only do this on PC, so any console players, I'm sorry. Uh, we don't have anything on console yet, but once the update happens, hopefully we'll have it on consoles, of course. So, first off, is how do you access the console commands? That's going to be F1. So, here's your console command. You can see I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff before this tutorial and stuff like that. So, uh, DM will open your debug menu. So, just type in DM and then enter. And it actually says right there, debug menu on. CM is creative menu. So CM right there. So now create a menu is if you go up here to this little light bulb, you can also turn that on at the beginning of your world when, before you load in when you, all the settings, you can turn on create a menu also. Back to the actual console commands, I'll go over a couple console commands that are pretty helpful. Uh, the first one is to set the time. And this one's really nice. You, If you wanna fast forward the day 7,000 horde or something like that, or if you just wanna bypass the horde or change the time, Here's how you do it. You can do this on the debug menu or the console commands, but this is how you do it. You just type in set time, and then you want to type in what day you want to go to. Let's go to day uh, 10, and then you have to type in what time. So I'm just going to type in um, 08 space 00. So you have to put a space between each one. Set time space, day 10 space, hour 8 space, and then the minutes, and then enter. Boom, there we go. Day 10 at eight o'clock. So just remember the space, set time. If you guys ever forget this or you need a little help, you can always type in help, command, help. And this will bring up all the basic commands that you can do on the on the debug menu. I'm not gonna go over all these, on the, debug, on the console commands, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna go over all these, but if you guys wanna test some of these out, you can. Or you can actually do help and then type in what you need help with. Let's do set time. Help set time, it actually gives you the commands right there on how to do it. You can also do help weather. If you want to mess around with the weather, there's all the commands for the weather. And if you do want to mess around with the weather, if you want to change it, just type in weather. And then what do you want to do? Let's do rain, space rain, space one. And see, we got rain. Let's say you want to turn the, uh, the rain off. Go back to your console, type in weather, space rain, and then zero. That should turn the rain off. And it takes, it takes a little bit of time, but the rain is now gone. But I like that function because you know, in like Minecraft, you know, when it starts raining, the first thing we always do is go to the console commands and turn off the rain. But you can also do it in seven days to die, which is really nice. Okay, and the next thing I'll show on the commands, the last one I'll show is if you just want to kill everything, let's say you're just, you know, you're trying to set up a base, you're tired of dealing with the zombies, go to your commands, type in kill all, enter, Boom, they're all dead. Anybody that's in your vision or around you will die. That includes all the animals too, so just keep that in mind. But like I said, if you're if you're building a base, you don't have time to deal with people and stuff like that, and they're driving you nuts, you can use kill all. That is it for the commands that I'm gonna go over. Like I said, if you need more help, just type in help, and it'll show you the different commands. So next up on the debug menu is if, if once you have debug menu turned on, so again, that's F1 and then DM enter, you can hit escape. And here is your kind of debug menu area. This is like the main gist of it right here. You can kill yourself. You can set, if you have your coordinates down, like a certain coordinates, you can teleport yourself there. Just type in the coordinates and then tele teleport. You can recalculate the light and the stability if you need to work on that kind of stuff. Here is a, the better way to change date and time right here. Um, so you can just move it around. It's a little slider. And you can go to day 16, one through 16 here. If you need to go past 16, you have to use the console command set time. Just keep that in mind. If you are trying to go past day 16, you have to use set time. And you can also change the time. This is nice. Let's say you back out of, this is the one I use the most for, is if you back out of a horde before 4 a.m., let's say you, you, know, you defeat the horde, it's 2 a.m., and then you back out. Once you reload the game at 2 a.m., the horde will respawn. So keep that in mind. So this is a nice one. If you, before you back out of the game, you can set it past 4 a.m. And then back out of the game, you don't have a horde. Or if you're just tired of dealing with the horde, you can set it past, you know, 4 a.m. Or if you're ready to fast forward to the horde, whatever you want. Fly mode is just what it sounds like. It's fly mode. So 
You can just fly around, a uh, space to go up, C to go down, and you can also run a little faster. That's fly mode. Then there's also God mode. And you can check God mode here. The difference between fly mode and God mode is God mode is you can go through POIs like this. You can also not be harmed at all by zombies. And it also cures all your ailments, all your health, all your hunger and all that stuff, it cures everything. So keep that in mind. If you do God mode and you don't want to cure everything, just keep, you might go into fly mode. You can also go below the map here and kind of see what it looks like below. But it, And like I said, you can go, what I like about God and fly mode is if you can really, if, especially if you spawn into like a random gen world and you're just, or Nava's game and you're just trying to get, you know, find out where you're at, just go way up here. Snow biome's there. Uh, there is the burnt biome down there. You can see the desert way off there. I'm in Navis game if you haven't noticed yet. So nice thing about God mode, make sure you're close to the ground before you get out of it or you will hurt yourself. Uh, and you will take fall damage. The other way to do God mode is just hit Q. Q is toggles God mode on and off. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to do it from that menu, but Q is God mode on and off. You can also type in no collision, which will make you go through the buildings just like in God mode, but won't have God mode on. You can also do invisible, which makes you exactly what it is, invisible to all entities in the game, which is kind of nice if you're trying to set up like a good shot or something like that of the zombies tearing up something or whatever, that's a good way to do it. You can also mess around with the speed. It's normally set to one, but if you want to have a faster game, you can of course set it way up. And I mean, it'll look at that. I mean, it's like fast forwarding the game. So that's another thing you can do if you want a faster game. You can really mess around with the speed, but this, I keep it at one normally. So if we go back to escape the pause menu of the debug part, the other thing is open POI teleporter. And here is all the POI. So if you're in a random gen world, it'll display every POI that's in that map. And in Navis game, it's going to show everything that's in map Navis game. So yeah, you can just click on something. Let's go to the store bakery. Let's just click on that. It's in the uh, snow and we're at the bakery, right like that. So go back to it. That's very foggy here. There's the cracker book there. What I like to do is if you're in random gen world and you're trying to find where the cities are or something like that, you can just type in city and you're going to have city center. Uh, there's departure city, you know, departure of the, the, the city in Navis game. Like there's Dyersville. We can go back to Dyersville. You can just type in city if you want. Or if you're trying to find a, let's type in the church. If you want to find the church, let's say you're trying to do a series where you want to, you're, you're doing hoard every night at the church. You can just type in church, boom. So here's the, here's one of the church buildings. That's the big church there. Let's go back. Let's see if we can find Jen's church. Uh, open tele, what is it? The rural church is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, here we go. This is a nice church here. There's the rural church. So if you're trying to find the church, there it is there, uh, and you can go back and, whoop, wrong button there. You can go back and find all the churches. You can also type in trader. It'll take you to all the traders on the map. So if you're trying to find all the traders and you don't, if you're impatient like me and you just want to find them all, you can find the traders. Now you can teleport this way. You can also, if you want to, while debug menu is on, go to the map right here. And then if you hold control, let's just find, uh, well, there's a bird right there. Control, if you hold down control and then right click, you'll teleport to that spot. Boom, there we go, that's how we teleport. We teleport back to here. Or if you just wanna go pick a random spot and see what's there, control, you can you can teleport anywhere on the map. And I actually just turned off the fog actually in this world, it was getting a little, a little crazy. So if you ever need to turn off the fog, you can go back to commands, type in weather, fog, and then zero. We'll turn off all the fog in the world. So if you're ever having problems with fog, and a bit C, you can do that also. Well, let's head back to Dyersville. So I'm gonna hold control and then right click and we're back in Dyersville. Maybe, there it is. It's taking a minute to render in. Just keep that in mind. If you do teleport, it will take a minute to render in. And if you're, especially if you're in God mode and you're running fast, it will take a minute to render in. Okay, so if you're in debug menu, hit you can hit F6. This will pull up the zombie and entity spawn menu. So you can, you can spawn in grace if you want. Uh, animals, you can also sp spawn in mini bikes, 4x4 trucks, anything like that. There's the 4x4 truck, ready to go. You don't even have to like build it. It's just ready to go. Even has gas in it. Look at that. So if you just want to spawn in the 4x4 truck, you can. If you want to spawn in Grace, uh, I'd be ready for her if you are. Now I will say, if you spawn in something, it's going to be ready to fight. 
So let's uh, let's spawn in Darlene. So there she is right there. She's gonna be ready to fight. So keep that in mind. So let's just take care of her real quick, and I'll go over all these weapons, these debug, these debug weapons here in a minute. Uh, I'll show all those off real quick. But let's say you want to spawn in a zombie, and you, you're not ready. You don't want it to fight already. You can do that. If you hit the star key over on your number pad, it'll actually turn off AI. It'll turn the AI off. If you look at the bottom left, AI is off. So let's spawn in Bo. If you look at him now, his AI is going to be off. He's just going to be sitting there now. And you can go one step further after this if you want. Control and star will actually freeze him. Now he doesn't move at all. Great way to get a screenshot if you're after a screenshot of some sort. Um, so yeah, let me go into God mode real quick. So you can, if you're looking for a screenshot, something like that, or you just want to get up and close and personal, look at these ugly bastards. I mean, look at that. So that's how you can really control the, the zombies. Let me turn off God mode. So if you want to bring him back to just jiggling around, control and star, he's going to jiggle, his AI is off, and then hit star again, his AI is back on. And so you can kind of really mess with him a little bit. You can keep turning on and off if you want. But there you go. That's how you control the zombies. So keep that in mind if you are wanting to spawn in a bunch of zombies. Let's do, uh, let's hit star. Let's bring in Grace. So like I said, if I brought in Grace, I would make sure her AI is off before I did something crazy. Because as soon as you turn it on, here she comes. So just keep that in mind. F5 puts you into third person like this. So if you ever want to try out third person, here you go. And then if you'd like to go a step further after that, you can detach the camera with P. So you can see I've now detached the camera. That's how you. That's how a lot of the creators kind of get these walk-up shots when they're walking up to the camera like this. Like, hey, I'm Spartan 85. Welcome to a tutorial. Oh, maybe that'll be my intro. That's how you detach the camera. And then right next to the P key, there's an open bracket key. Open bracket. If you type that, that further detaches the camera. So you can really get these shots. So this one's really nice is if your your uh, person is inside of a horde base and you got zombies attacking you, you can bring the camera over here and kind of get better shots of the zombies attacking you. So this is pretty cool. Um, if you want to do this, just keep in mind that you don't have any control of your dude. So if he's getting murdered, ah, you do actually, I take that back. You can, you can shoot, but you can't do anything else. So that detaches the camera and then press it again to reattach the camera. So now the camera is stuck in place wherever you left it. And now you have control of your guy again. And then F5 goes back into first person right there. Okay. And you hit P, detach the camera. So just, those are really fun for creators. Or if you're just trying to get cool shots for your friends and all that. And I will say, keep in mind for debug menu, you have to be an admin in a server. So if you're playing on a multiplayer server, you have to be an admin. So if you want to do these things, ask your admin to make you an admin, of course. Okay, one more thing I'll show in the commands, and I meant to show this earlier, but if you want to go up to the commands, type in lights and then V. Lights and V will show your heat map that you currently have on your base. So if you're at your base, you're wondering why you have screamers coming over like crazy, this will show you where all the heat is. So yellow is okay, it has a little bit of heat. That's usually like lights and like torches. Green is great, that's no heat. So you can kind of see, and then you see different POIs and stuff. So you're having a bunch of screamers come. This will show you how much heat you're putting off. You can also go further, press F8. F8 is your frames per second. So mine's kind of going up now that I'm sitting. And then your, your FPS will go down in cities too, keep that in mind. And then F8 again will show your sound and then also your heat actual. F8 again gets rid of that. And then just type in lights B to get rid of it like that. And I'll go ahead and show you the creative menu now that I'm gonna bring in a Kim station. So let's go to the creative menu and you see 4839 total. So that's how much we have total right now. Now you also have a, a box over here that says dev blocks on. Turn that on, it goes to 22,000 blocks. So these are all the blocks, extra blocks that you can have if you have debug menu on. You have to have debug menu on. A lot of it is just stuff you can spawn in, uh, a lot of for testers and stuff like that. So let's turn it back off and let's type in, just type in Kim. We're gonna bring in a Kim station. There it is right there, Kim illustration. Let's bring, uh, let's bring three over. We'll just bring all these down. So let's see if we can raise this heat map a little bit. So we'll just place them all down right there. 
but we need to grease grab we already have a wood but if you want to just spawn in wood you can just go over here you type in wood there's your wood six thousand wood bring that in you can pretty much spawn in anything you want so we'll go and get these things turned on turn that on turn that on and turn that on let's see if our heat goes up let's press f8 and so this is telling you what everything is on right now if you have a campfire you have three campfires going on right now there's that's what's putting off the heat so if you type in if you do that f8 it'll tell you what's putting off the heat they so have three events 14 percent heat right now so let's pull up our our lights v now you can kind of see what's putting off the heat so like i said if you don't really know why you're getting screamers and stuff like that i get a little closer you can see that the red is definitely putting off heat so this one's really not putting off a lot of heat is it is it? it's on too I think that's kind of picking up over here, but I just want to show you guys that. I know a lot of people, I get a lot of comments like, man, I have screamers like nonstop. Here, if you want to use this, you can kind of see what, how, how to stop them. All right, so let's go back to creative menu. Like I said, I've kind of shown you guys the creative menu. You can spawn in different stuff. If you guys want to mess around, like there's the chainsaw. It's a great way to learn the game. I've always said that. Don't view it as cheating, view it as learning. So if you guys have never, like, if you just want to mess around with the drone, you can bring the drone down. Stuff like that. So, actually, I gotta bring it down now. So let's go to the debug. The dev blocks on. The dev blocks on. And there's a lot of different blocks. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. There is, um, you know, scrap armor bundles, stuff like that. But let's say you want to mess around with the dev tools. You can just type in dev. Here's all the dev tools. You can also type in admin. There's a same thing. Dev and admin will bring you to here. So there's quest tickets. A way, a way to give yourself a quest. There is find trader quest. So if you need to activate that find trader quest again, you can do that. Or if you just need to find another trader. Uh, the dev super digger is what you see most use. And basically this one will destroy any block in the game. One shot. So if you want to try to tear down a building or something like that, I'm probably gonna hurt myself. No, I didn't. So if you want to try to tear down a building, you know, have a little fun, you can. And, uh, really really try to tear it down it doesn't take and just keep in mind that if, if you do go down it goes down very fast let's see if we can bring this building down real fast there we go it's coming down with big mama in it big mama get out Get out, she's pissed. I'm gonna switch over to this gun. That's a single shotgun. I'll show that off real quick too. Lieutenant Dan's still in there. Like I said, we're almost there. And it has a very long range. So you can bring down a building real fast if you want. If you need to clear something out, you know, if you're needing some more space or something like that, or you're just tired of looking at a building, bring it down. Next up is this little pistol right here. And you, you can find it. Let's go back to the crater menu. It's right here. Dev instant pistol and instant kill pistol. I've already showed it off a couple times. There's a uh, hey, here's a screamer Probably hear that shutter up real quick didn't it? So it has a excellent range. I mean, there's a running screamer. Look at that So as excellent range, I mean look at that range That building is still coming down. It's still coming down and then next up is the Well, let's take care of her real quick and next one is the hammer of God. It's the it's a it's a melee tool basically. I hear somebody else. Let's use it on him. It's an instant kill melee. It's also an instant destruction, too. So it works for that. So if you're if you're wanting to actually be a little more like actually specific with your block, something like that, you can use the hammer. Look at that. It's still coming down. That's awesome. You also have the wrench, the block replace tool, the admin wrench. Now this one's nice. If you come over, let's find, uh, let's find ourselves a couple cars. There should be some over here. So if you destroy a car with this gun, God dang it, lady, I'm trying to make a video here. So if you come over here and you shoot this car, it will explode. So if you're trying to get rid of cars and you don't want to cause damage to the surrounding area, you want to use this wrench. Now, since I'm making a tutorial, I'd like to go ahead and kill all. I don't want to deal with these guys. They're all dead now. Just to kind of show that off. They all just kind of fall fall down. There you go. There's the super wrench in action. So, and I actually showed you guys the wrong one. It's actually called the super wrench. 
I was showing you guys the admin block replace tool, the, the super wrench, the, the pink one, is the one you want that takes out the car with one hit. So you can remove cars very easy with that. You also have the rocket boots, and I, I will say I've never used these, but I've seen them in action, but they are rocket, so you can kind of see they're rocket boots. They makes you go very fast, like that. So they're kind of fun to have. Well, those are pretty fun. That's the, uh, that's the rocket boots. You just want to travel real fast. Doesn't use any stamina. And there's a lot of different other things in here. There's a uh, there's a mining helmet that has 100% cold resist and heat resist. It also has a mining light on it too. So if you want to use that. There's the electricity test note, which brings in, it's for testers for the electricity that spawns in a bunch of electricity stuff for them. Upgrade resources pack, uh, workstations and tools packs. But like I said, the main things a lot of us creators use is just these tools, the, the super digger, and you can go all the way to bedrock. Like I said, if you want to go down, you can go all the way to bedrock very, very fast. There, we're at bedrock. There we go. So you can get down to bedrock very, very fast if you want with the dev. And this is a fun tool, especially if you just want to try to create a base. If you want to test a base or something like that, and you, you can bring in, you can use the creative menu. You can bring in, you know, steel blocks. Let me just type in steel. You can bring in steel blocks if you want and try to build with steel blocks. Uh, there's the steel cube right there. So you can bring that in and you can, well, maybe I, uh, I did it right. Bring in uh, steel cubes. You just wanna try out like an in-game horde base, something like that. So there's your steel blocks you can put down and you can build a base. If you need to get rid of them, you have the, uh, the digger. Well guys, I think that's about it. As much as I wanted to cover, um, I tried to hit everything I could. This might be a longer video and I do apologize for that, but hopefully this helps you guys out, learn the debug menu, the creative menu, all that kind of stuff. And there's still a lot I did not cover. Like I said, if you just type in F1 and help, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that I did not cover. But I covered the basics that I think will help you guys out. So anyway guys, thank you for all the support and be sure to like and subscribe and check out my channel for more tutorials. Thank you guys, bye. Thank you.